You can walk down the street now, can't you, and uh, say good morning to somebody and be lucky if you get an answer. But I mean, years ago, it was completely different. <laughs> Leave your doors open, can you? Go in, in each other's houses. Yeah. We used to share our comics because you could only have one. You, um, your parents could buy one. But with the neighbours, they buy one. Then they all read them, big families, and swap. Yeah. So that way you have two a week. I mean, I used to spend more time two doors down than I did in my own place, you know, because I, I was the only one. I didn't have no brothers or sisters. So I used to uh, go down the chugs and spend a lot of time down there, you know. But uh, everyone was so friendly. I mean, you could even worry, find something left on your doorstep. I don't know about being pinched today, would you? You know, someone would bring something and leave it. Because you're not home. No. Because there was always a little cubby hole on the side of your house, you know, where you sort of, for, for wiping your feet. So you used to leave the money in there for the milkman or whatever it was, you know. We <laughs> couldn't do that a day, could it? <laughs> uh, the one thing I was only saying the other day is that if we'd known now the way things are now, with the money we spent to go to pictures together, <laughs> It's all coming back now, you know, on TV, oh, right. you know, I mean, things that we saw, you know, in the pictures. Yeah. I mean, we've queued up for pictures at the Regal, which isn't there anymore on the Strand, and the queue's been right up through the Theatre Lane, right up it's into, high street, into right? High Street, isn't it? They yeah. come along, two, one in nine standing. And yeah, they used to go in separately and meet afterwards because <laughs> it was so, so big a queues, you know. Yeah. Before but now, Scott, Scott, yeah, well, that was the Gaumont, and then it was the Old Inn, and then it was something else, wasn't it? Well, Gaumont originally, because we used to go there on Saturday morning pictures, didn't we? So, yes, yeah, Saturday morning pictures, Uncle, Uncle Alec. Yeah, you had to sing. And if it was your birthday, you took a friend and went upstairs. That's yeah, right. in the balcony, that was yeah. the excitement, <laughs> wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It yeah. cost us sixpence uh, to go in. <laughs> There was always a, a sort of a yeah. interest film, wasn't there? We had two films. Trailers for what was coming next week. Yeah. And the B film, as they would call it, Pathy and the News. A film, you know, Pathy News. Oh, yeah. Pathy News, yes. But it was quite a big build-up, really, you know. And during now the, you're just going to see one film, isn't it? During the war, um, if your parents took you, and my grand and mum used to go to the pictures once a week, and if they thought it was suitable, they'd take one of us children along with them. But when Pathy News came up, if it was about the war, we'd have to go outside while they were showing, because they showed the Holocaust and everything, at, you know, toward the end of the war. But even during the war, we had to go outside while they were showing Pathy News because it was too distressing for children. Yeah. So you'd have a pile of children out in the forefront there with the usherettes looking after you. Yeah, well, as I say, I don't remember much about it. All I know is that it's the Six Devons. It was great. 1935. It used to a church parade in Bridges Road. It used to be every Sunday morning. And uh, there's not what... He's probably farther on now, but there were two ponies, Jesse and Sam. And they used to be in market before they paraded outside. They used to be in market. We used to take in sugar lumps to give to the ponies, you know. There, I'm about... Three, 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 and nanny thirty-five. So I was born nanny thirty-two. Two, so three. I'm about three. We're coming yeah. up for three. Coming three. up for three, something like that. Mm. Yeah, well, I've always loved marching bands. Anyway, probably <laughs> inherited it from when I was small like that. Yeah.